As cyber attacks become more prevalent, organizations of all sizes are demanding better protection for their networks. This has given rise to a number of products which have evolved to provide network protection from an increasingly diverse hacker community. There are a dizzying number of security products on the market, and it's becoming difficult to choose among them. One such product is referred to as a security appliance, which aims to provide a one-device solution to protect most small business networks uh, from attacks. What are some of the common requirements for small businesses? From the initial slide, you see the dangers of hackers obtaining personal information from employees or clients of a business. Yahoo had over 1 billion accounts compromised from outside sources. Apple had a number of iCloud accounts hacked and personal photos were released from the personal accounts of a number of entertainment stars. Most businesses now use secure links to connect remote workers or remote sites. These connections generally use the public internet to carry this traffic, so some type of secure channel must be created that will prevent prying eyes from viewing sensitive information. Some organizations, such as hotels and sports facilities, wish to provide customers with a, a public Wi-Fi service. This service must still protect these wireless users from accessing the private corporate network that's providing the service. And most businesses sell some product or service that will be paid for by credit cards. PCI compliance places many requirements on companies in the area of network security uh, that we'll look at in the future. Basic protection is provided by a firewall product. Because it's critical to inform uh, the public of network compromises that might happen, most businesses are also using some form of intrusion detection to determine when their networks have been penetrated and to what level. A virtual private network, or VPN, is the communication channel that can provide secure communication uh, when using a public internet. Public Wi-Fi hotspots is the job of a captive portal. And PCI compliance dictates that networks uh, must provide multiple security zones. Often web servers must be placed in a special partitioned area uh, called the demilitarized zone. Over the course of several ads, we'll look at creating all these different types uh, of security solutions. Fortunately, these security features can all reside on a single security appliance. This appliance is placed at the edge of a company network, which connects directly uh, to an internet service provider. There are many security vendors in this marketplace. Cisco, Juniper, FireEye are just some of them. Most of these devices consist of a specialized computer system that's packaged in a rack-mountable hardware box, as you can see here. The boxes are placed in the organization's wiring closet, and usually it connects between an ISP router and the organization's network. The company administrator often configures security features of these boxes by connecting through a web interface from inside the corporate network. Some of these devices can cost several tens of thousands of dollars. For our course, we're going to look at an open source product called OpenSense. This product has evolved from previous products called PFSense and Monowall. It is the product of a company from the Netherlands. While it can be installed in an appliance box that's shown here, it's also available as a software product that can be downloaded and installed on any general purpose PC. OpenSense is actually a series of software security models that run on the FreeBSD or Unix operating system. FreeBSD is considered one of the most secure Unix kernels for running network services. Future Labs will introduce you to OpenSense and provide a number of exercises where you can configure and troubleshoot many of its security features.